Hey everyone, this is Manly Badassero, and welcome to Welcome Home. Welcome Home is a horror visual novel about a divorced man visiting his daughter. Wrong decisions and failures. Wasted tears and efforts that cannot be mismeasured. They are like the demons beneath. Inevitable, unless you die and lose your own breath. Ooh, that's... Great Sprite, welcome home, Mama. What's going on? Uh... Crap. My head aches. I overslept again. What am I doing here again? Oh yeah, yeah, I almost forgot. I just received a text from an old friend, notifying me they need to go home, since my ex-wife committed suicide. My daughter lived alone with my friend. He said to me that this time, I must take over on parenting our little daughter. I can barely remember her face, but I'm sure I can tell that she's my daughter once I see her. Engine revving intensifies. I'm not good at dealing with kids. Well, she is my daughter too. I'm partly responsible on her after all. I really need to pay her a visit now. Uncern, you step the gas pedal of your car as you drive your way through the midst of your own doubts. Wow. <laughs> Look at that symbolism. After several hours of driving, you finally arrived at your destination. The Google Maps says that this is the place. You unbuckle your safety belt as you exit your own car. A tranquil suburban area filled your gaze. You looked around as you remember this. A somewhat familiar view. It's been five years, eh? A lot changed since I left this place. I used to live here with her. Yeah, I can't recall a single fragment of my old wife from my memories. Oh, that's my ex-wife's van. I'm on the right place. Little, little grammar issues here. A little girl walked near you. Daughter? A girl with dark hair, long enough to barely touch her shoulders. You figure out that she is your daughter the moment that your eyes laid on her. How can I tell? his weird glowing eyes run in the family? I'm sure she's it. It must be a dad's instinct. Yeah, it must be. Hey! You tried starting a conversation. She seems to be cautious about you. It didn't work. I'm a stranger on her point of view after all. I should try to make her comfortable on me first. It keeps replacing of with on for some reason. This would be a common mistake here. Make it a safe point. Hi, I'm... or how are you? Let's be straight to the point. Hi, I'm... I don't care. Er... Oh, so you don't talk that much. Okay, so... This is harder than I thought. Keep talking to her. Uh, what are you doing here? It's none of your business. Oh, uh, this is going real bad. Who are you? You tried to dodge the question. Why are you outside? Um, why are you outside? I'm waiting. Waiting? For Mama. And Papa. The big guy said that my dad will visit me. Are you his friend? Oh, that big guy was probably Bob. He is my and my ex-wife's best friend. I heard that he helped a lot at my ex-wife's funeral. So, are you my papa's friend? No, I'm your papa. Tell her the truth. Get over with. No, I'm not his friend. And die, you pig. Wait, what? Wait, wait. I want to talk to you. Hold on, sweetie. I, I'm not his friend. Because I am him. Papa? Yeah, well that was hardcore. <laughs> Wait, what's going on? 
The little girl gave you a warm hug, and the eyes look kind of weird, like they're absorbing into my chest. What? This girl really needs attention. She must feel really lonely after her mom's death. Maybe she murdered her mom. Papa. Will you stay here? Uh, I want to, but... How can I say no to her? Yes. Forever? Ah, uh, Of course. You replied uncertainly. Really? Yeah. <laughs> I'm happy. So you can get a dad if you... If your mom... Died? What? So you can get a dad if your mom died. That's weird. Damn. It's not like that. She looked at you, baffled on what you said. Uh, how do I explain this? Your throat turned dry as you barely gave an obscure reply. It's that, uh... Our family is special. Oh? Yeah. Our family is special, so you did not meet your dad when you were younger. Oh. Okay. Okay. Papa? Yes? Mama? Mama hates lies. That's such a weird smile. Even white lies. Oh. What was that all about? Okay. Make sure not to lie ever again. Let's go inside our house. Papa? Okay, my loving daughter, that will not murder me. So she's my daughter, eh? Creek. Welcome home. <laughs> what? It's dark inside. You can turn on the lights if you want. Uh, yeah. But, it's very dark, right? You gotta find out it's not my daughter after all. It's like your daughter is down the street from there. Then who was I talking to? Er, hi hi. Just kidding. No, it's hee hee. You can turn on the lights. Sure thing. Hee hee. How nostalgic. It still looks the same since I left here. What's an interesting house layout? I never imagined myself going back here. The room was filled with silence. Er, yes, Papa? Where is Bob? Bob? Um, uh, the big guy. Oh no. Oh! He he he. He's at the bathroom. Oh. Er, where is the bathroom? Upstairs. Oh, thanks. We're gonna find a body in there. Our conversation ended just like that. Great. This is really awkward. I'm gonna wait for Mama outside, Papa. Oh, sure. Just go home before it gets dark. Wait. She left. Great. She mentioned her mom earlier, too. Maybe it's just... Nothing. This quick turn of events surely hit her hard. Well, she is only six years old. This is probably too much for her to handle. Where should I go? Where? <laughs> Explore around by clicking objects, sofa, stairs, doors, etc. Sit. Drink. Go upstairs. Make a save point. Let's go upstairs and check that bathroom right away. You went upstairs. It's straight to the bathroom's door. Bob? Bob? Are you there? Oh god. Bob? Are you in there? Faint sound. You listen closely at the door. Jeez, Bob. Is that a fart? Damn. You. No, Bob is here. Oh, sorry, dude. I got some technical issues here. Seriously, Bob? Why didn't you answer earlier? Shut up, dude. I'm concentrating. Just go downstairs after. I need to talk to you, man. Yes, boss. Now, shoo. Let me poop in peace. <laughs> Shut up, man. You heard the door open downstairs. The girl's back. I'm hanging down first, dude. Sure, let me finish this last battle. Should not be Bob. Hey, sweetie. Whoa, wooly, wooly. Oh. That's Bob. That's with your hair. 
Hey? Bob? Why is he here? You're upstairs, right? Who was the bathroom? Wait, I mean, who was the fart? Right? Huh? I just arrived here. What are you talking about? Don't tell me. Tell you what. Are you taking those pills again? Huh? Pills? What pills? What's wrong with you? Are you really... my friend? Of course! Oh god, there's so many layers. No, I didn't mean that way. Are, are you really... him? You're not making any sense right now. Who... are you? Huh? I'm... Manly. Manly? Yes? Are you really... Manly? Of course, that's me. Uh... What's with this weird conversation? Manly? Hold on, Bob. Uh, I'm just gonna sort something upstairs. Odd. I'm sure that he's in the bathroom. What's going on, Bob? Bobby? Are you in there? Shuffling sound. Er... I'm gonna open the door. I'm actually kinda creeped out right now legitimately. For God's sake. Why is every room in this house dark? No! Bobby? This is not bathroom. This is not the bathroom. Weird. I'm sure this is where the bathroom should be. Open up! Bobby? Open this door! Ease up, Bob. Open this up! Hold on. Are you really manly? Answer me. Are you really manly? I am manly. Hey, hey. What the hell is wrong with you? Are you... Are you shouting on me? What? Damn it. It's your fault. You pig. There's that word again. The pig. I thought we were friends. What did you say? You bastard. After all I've done here because you're a failure as a father. You're just gonna shout here? Here? What's going on? At my house? Bob left the room. What the hell is wrong with him? It's not his house either. It's my wife's. Bullshit. I knew it. It's going to cause a lot of trouble. I should just ditch that girl with Bob. <laughs> yeah, we should have but we had the chance. <sighs> Talk about bad luck. What happened to the lights? <laughs> Don't leave her. What the? I'm out of here. Damn. This place gives me chills. I better head back down to so some creepy shites jump onto me here. What's wrong with your hair, Bob? What? I'm sorry about earlier. Fine. Er, so... What? Have you seen her? See who? Hey. Don't tell me. You can see it too. See what? See what? I'm just trying to ask you if you saw a little girl. Oh. The little one. Eh? You should say things clear. She's at her room. Oh. So she went back already. Went back? Yeah, why? How? Huh? She been outside a moment ago. Or she was. No. She's in her room. You're not making any sense again. I'm sure she never stepped outside that room. Uh, didn't you say earlier that you just arrived here? She... She's in her room. I locked her. You what? Who was the girl? But then who was the fart? But then who was the bathroom? <laughs> There's so many layers. She was locked in her room since her mom's funeral. What? Don't worry. I'm bringing her food to make sure she eats a lot every day. You... Tell me, where is her room? No. Don't open it. Please don't. Where is it? Take the door next to the kitchen upstairs. I swear if something happened to that girl, I'm gonna bash your face. I don't know what's going on. There is multiple endings to this, but I'm not sure what they're like. I must take the other door. Dark. Yeah, I'm not going down this hallway. Manly, get out of there. 
Which choice should I take? Layers of choices. Maybe the door at the very dark end of the hallway? This is such a dumb idea. Hello? Sweetie? I'm gonna open the door, sweetie. Oh, God. Oh, yeah. This is great. It's good fun. You know, it's a girl lying on the floor. Hey. Get up. Oh, God, we're so dead. So doomed. Are you alright? Who are you? What? What was that? I thought I saw my wife for a second. Weird. Who are you? It's me. You met me earlier, right? Huh? It's this mom's death. That big guy locked me here. What? what? But I've seen you outside, right? Maybe, maybe the ghost girl outside was the wife. No, I'm here all the time. In this room? Here. What's happening here? That's what I want to know. Anyways, come on. I'm your dad. I can protect you from that big guy. He's a big guy. Or you. Really? Of course. Okay, Papa. You hear a somewhat familiar sound as she attempts to move. Chains. Your left foot is chained at the floor. What is going on? This is too much. The left foot was also bleeding because of the chains. Hold on, sweetie. I'm gonna get some towel and water. I'm gonna get some towel and water? Towel? Eiffel towel? What? what, what? <laughs> well, those wounded your ankles must get clean, so... Oh, you're a doctor? Er, sort of. Of course, no, I'm unemployed. Please promise me that you will come back. I promise. Really? I hate lies and liars. There it is again. Don't worry. I'm done on running away. I'm not gonna abandon you anyone this time. Stay here. I'll be back. Maybe I can find some towels in the bathroom. Now oh, that's creepy. Hmm. Bingo, there's a towels here. No! No! Who's there? Bob? No! Bob, why are you so creepy looking? Why are you here? Did you? Did what? Did you... let her out? How can I? You chained her, you animal. She's bad. Very bad. Fuck off! I'm taking her. See you in court, you bastard. No, see you in court. You addict. Addict! Yes, you're insane. That's the main reason why you messed up marriage with her, right? That's in the past now. I'm clean now. You know I like her. But you married her anyway. Probably, it'd probably be like, you know I liked her. Wait. I don't know about that. And now? You're gonna steal my daughter from me? Huh? She's my daughter. Your vision starts to blur as you seemingly cold metal metallic object ripped the skin in your waist. The words came out of your dull tongue as number blow hits the very same spot. Slowly your sight dimmed, along with the pain slowly turning numb. Down we go. Papa, set me free. Everything will turn out fine. Set me free. Uh, was all that a dream? Since when I fall asleep, what is going on? Is the guy here? Uh, I don't know. I'm here again. Where's my daughter? Why am I here? We're probably in a purgatory, to be honest. What you stand lines on the television? We're scared foil lighter and some old the old same white powder. Oh, he's snorting. Oh yeah. The white powder offered by God himself. I've already stopped taking this drug years ago. Well I guess I did not. Wait, what? It's the home video, right? Hey, little girl. No! Papa, you never came back. No! I don't know what happened. I know everything about you. Really? Let's try this one. I don't care to want to be with you. Then come. Where? Here. In the darkness. Do it. Bad end. Let's go. Sure. 
Where are we going? At my room. Huh? Who set you free? You. Huh? Stop asking. Hold this. The girl gave you an old pistol. Listen carefully. I want you to commit suicide. Oh, God. What? That's the only way to make our family complete. You love me, right? Do it. What do you mean? Are you dead? Me and Mama died. Because of you. I'm a coward back then. Running away from both of you because I'm not ready. They really get the, the past tense wrong here. I was a coward back then, running away from you because I was not ready. Bear. Shaking, you point the gun at your head. If dying was the only option to atone my sin, then I'm happy to die for you. I'm sorry. I love you. And their family is complete. Mom, dad, and a little girl. Ending two with them. So let's try this other one. What happened then? A lot happened. And I know it all. How? Because I am you. Me? Yes. I am the fruit of the white power that you regularly sniff. What am, am I? Hallucinating? Yes, you are. I think I figured that one. Again. Me and Mama are tired now. Please set us free. This doesn't make sense. How can I set you free? Stop it. Stop what? Stop killing yourself. This is a lot different than the other one. Don't get devoured by that. By that addiction of yours. Fine. Or is it that I won't run away anymore? I'm gonna let you go. My daughter. Mm. Mm. We're back here. What? Mm. Manly. Mm. Bob? Yo, sorry I'm late. I'm just stuck in that traffic. <laughs> oh. I'm glad that you received my text. Text? Yep. We're gonna pay our respects on them, right? Pay respects? Hello? Yes, it's our fifth death anniversary, right? Oh, but that text wasn't about getting custody of my daughter. Ugh, dude, she's dead. Don't tell me you're taking... You're still taking those pills and powered drug. Bob knows a scared foil around. What happened here? I don't know. Don't give me that look. It's your life and daughter's death anniversary. Why are you having your own pot session here? It's my fault, ain't it? What are you talking about? Did I let them die? If I didn't leave them, my wife wouldn't kill our daughter herself because of the depression. It's not your fault. Forget all of it. It's been five years. Yeah, probably a long five years. Hey, I want to rehab myself and get rid of this issue of mine. Well, that would be nice. Well, my daughter advised me that. Five years ago? No, in my dream. A very nice dream, except for the, you know, the horror part. <sighs> it really took five years for me to find my way back home. I've been alone and stuck with my past for five years. It's been five years since her death, yet it feels like it just happened yesterday. It's been five years, so I wonder why I feel alone. Well, this will be a fresh start. A fresh start and life must go on. Finally, I can say to myself, welcome home. Yes, my home. A home without them, with I alone. True ending, welcome home. So that's it for Welcome Home. So at the end, it's, you know, it's another one of those stories where the ghost or the spirit is really more of the spirit of uh, kind of moving on and of uh, addiction, once again. Um, but I did like the way this VN uses kind of limited resources. Uh, if this thing had some more kind of options and choices that actually mattered, because I think only the final choice actually matters. Um, and obviously some more polish, some grammar changes, and everything like that. This would be a pretty solid, kind of little quick short horror VN. Um, because there actually was some parts that I was a little bit creeped out here, especially with the Bob part. And the kind of use of shadowing and whatnot, and their choice of, uh, photos in the background. I thought that was pretty well done. Uh, I'll say the pot's a bit cliche, but like I said, I did like the, the way it was kind of presented. It, it worked for the horror aspect anyway, so I enjoyed this VN. Anyway, so thank you all for watching me play Welcome Home. I'll see you guys later and take it easy.